Hey guys and welcome back to another train simulator video. Today we're going to be doing another scenario on the brand new and updated Portsmouth direct line between Woking and London Waterloo and we'll be driving a class 450 for this journey. Good morning driver, it's a misty one this morning. He will take charge of a class 450 on an early morning passenger service from Woking to London Waterloo making several scheduled stops on the way. Please allow passengers to board here before departing. Okay then. DVD is active and alarms can be uh, heard outside which is nice. Let's open the doors. I am going to be disabling the DVD because I don't want to hear it. I want to look around the, what do you call it, scenery and, and explore. And I believe you can hear it outside but sometimes I forget and I don't click the D but, uh, Q button or keyboard in time so that basically means that the train will automatically go into emergency brake and pretty much ruin the story so I don't want that to happen so let's put into forward destination board is set already to London Waterloo lights actually on as well so we don't need to do that Can take a nice screenshot because why not so yeah we're starting at Woking and we're going to be doing a stopping service probably a semi-fast stopping service to London Waterloo I do have the sound pack for the Class 450, so the sounds sound really nice. They have also updated the sounds, so I don't know how well that will work with the Armstrong Powerhouse sound pack, but anyways, it sounds very realistic anyway, so it's all good. And they have updated the Class 450 as well, as you can see. We've got the Southwest Trains uh, logo. We have the, obviously the destination board, which you can change. I believe it's Control F5 on the keyboard, I believe. Also, you can... Um, there's a passenger view for this train as well, which I'll show you in a minute. As we depart uh, Woking, the next station is West Byfleet. Just two and a half miles away. And we are driving our uh, eight-car train. So we're going to be stopping at West Byfleet, uh, Waybridge, Walton on Thames, uh, Hersham, Esher, Surbiton, which is where you can change for the branch line towards Hampton Court, Clapham Junction, and Vauxhall and London Waterloo. We're actually not going to be stopping at Wimbledon, which is a bit of a surprise, but that's okay, I guess. So one thing I do want to know is how good the brakes are on this train because as you guys know the 444 and the 450 have terrible brakes but master key solutions have worked with Duffel Games on updating the 444, 450 and 455 so it should be a lot more realistic. Now we can open the windows so let's just open these ones. Actually can we open the windows? Actually, we can't open the windows, that's a bit surprising. Anyways. Maximum speed, 100 miles now. Yeah, pretty basic uh, passenger view, nothing special. Not passenger view, sorry, our um, driver's cab. I think as we depart west by feet, I will show you the passenger view. Well, now let's just stay in the driver's cab. We're gonna test the brakes a bit. video I will be doing is um, a two-part scenario that goes from London Waterloo to uh, Portsmouth Harbour and that is with the class 444 so I do want to show you each and every train as it, as all three trains have been updated so stay tuned for that, that in the next video we do have a 455 
Quest Spy Fleet. If I do pronounce any stations wrong, I do apologize. Okay, the brakes seem a lot better than what I, I'm used to, so that's nice. Should be stopping at eight car marker, so let's do that. Since we're early, there we go. Let's open the doors. Let me show you how the sound of the doors are. Very nice. Okay, actually, I can show you the passenger room now, so let's do that. So here it is. So we have the, obviously the red seating as usual. I don't travel much in the 450, so I can't quite remember if uh, it looks like this, but I'm guessing it does. Pretty basic uh, pa passenger. You can't actually turn too much, so this is all you can see from here to this side. So that's a bit disappointing. Would have liked if you could uh, go all the way around, but anyways. <laughs> We have our next station, which is uh, Weybridge. And one thing I did forget to mention is that we're starting with a thousand points. So um, they, did, they did do a scenario uh, a while back where you started with a thousand points, and essentially. Uh, you want to keep a thousand points and as long as you arrive on time and do all that and don't speed you will stay at a thousand points but once you start speeding or once you start being late to stations then you will that points will go down basically instead of going from zero to a thousand you're trying to start with a thousand and end with a thousand essentially so it's a bit different in terms of career mode our scoring but i think it's a bit a bit more interesting than starting with zero points and then working your way up to a thousand I believe it's 900 plus for gold medal, 800 for uh, silver, and I think 700 or more for bronze. So should be straightforward. Most of these scenarios are quite easy. You wouldn't really expect many difficult uh, scenarios that Dalton Games make anyway. So most of us should be able to complete it with uh, near 2,000 points. Because obviously you can do things like speeding and all that. So which I tend to do quite a lot. I did do it a few times with the 455 as we were going on downhill. But we did pass this station, which I'm not too sure. I'm gonna just check that one actually. The hard will show us what station that is. Uh, that is Byfleet and New Hall. Okay then. So we're not stopping at each and every station, just uh, some stations along the line. Bridge. I believe stopping services do terminate at Waybridge, some of them, so it should hopefully be a terminating platform. There's actually tracks that go towards that side, so not too sure which line goes there, but I guess we can check the map to see if it shows. I am slowing a bit early because I still think the brakes are not that great, so. As you probably would expect, because if you ever driven this train with the old 450 or 444, then you'll know what I mean. The 444 is not too bad, but the 450 is actually horrendous. So full service braking looks like this, which is pretty powerful. It does still take a bit of time to slow down, but overall a lot, lot, lot better than the old one. Take a nice 
Three shots. Let's see where that train's going to. Since the destination board is working on the trains now, so that's going to walk in. I think that's doing a return journey that we're doing. With Waterloo to walk in, but we're going to walk into our London Waterloo. So far, so good. Still at a thousand points, so. Next stop, Walton on Thames. It does accelerate quite fast, I think. Just under 7 miles to Surbiton and then obviously Clapham Junction which is only uh, under 15 miles away and then London Waterloo which is like uh, just under 19 miles so Class 444 Probably going to somewhere like I don't know, Amazing Store or Weymouth or something like that And if you do want to buy it, it does cost $24.99 if you haven't bought the old one, but if you do on the old uh, routes, then it does cost only $40.99 with a 40% discount, which is actually really, really good. I think a lot of people have been saying that it's actually a really good discount. And I do agree with that, like giving 40% discount for previous owners with the Porto Direct Line is actually really, really good. Is that green thing to this? I think it's a better deal than they should do, but anyways, I'm not going to complain about paying less. And you have to remember that they are giving us also an updated um, class 450, 444 and 455, which they didn't really have to do, but I'm glad they did. Okay, arriving at Walton on Thames. I did pull into emergency, but luckily it didn't continue the emergency break because we could have lost some serious points there, so a bit lucky there. I was going to check where that train's going to, but I guess we can check the map. That's doing, it's not really telling us where that train's going to, but anyways. Wait, this is the branch now I was telling you about. Um. Adult stone, that must be the branch when it goes from uh, Weybridge. And obviously, what station is this? Yeah, so this is uh, that's Serbiton, so the branch line towards our uh, wait, call it Hampton Court is here. There is also a branch line here that goes towards I'm not too sure where. Um, is that Dorkin? Play gate. I have no idea what that goes to. I think that line is, uh, what do you call it? So, what do you call it? Chesington branch, I think it is. After Rainer's Park, I believe. Anyways, we are ready to depart. Please mind the doors. 
next station is uh, Hersham. It does remind me of Hersham on the server network, so I'm gonna get those two mixed up. It would be nice if we show you the destination where the train is going to. Okay, we need to slow down. I think I went a bit too fast, but... ETA looks good though, so... Should be fine. I haven't seen under 450 there. It seems like it's stopped. Or maybe it has a red signal, probably. Let's actually check that out. So, what's this? Oh. Okay, that's our train. Uh, no, it has a green. It has a green signal, so I'm not too sure. And this is going to Portal Harbour. We will be doing that uh, eventually. But not today. It will be in the next video. And this train is going to depart Minor Doors. Next stop is Esha. Speed limit of 90 miles an hour now, but uh, our next station is very close, so I think it's time to slow down. And I, I, we're actually really early, so yeah, might as well start braking now. After Esher, we have Surbiton, and then obviously uh, Clapham Junction, Vauxhall, and then London Waterloo. So I think we're around like half the way. To uh, London Waterloo at the moment.
believe we have missed a car stop, but that's okay. Just explore Escher for a minute. So we got um, machine here. Got obviously the beautiful uh, station sign. Essentially, you are pretty much paying for the walk into Waterloo part as I believe they have mentioned that they're going to be using uh, they use the DPS uh, simulated uh, the updated portal on the airline that they uh, updated so I think their main focus was obviously walk into London Waterloo uh, including the Hampton Court branch but so far um, I'm enjoying the route Only thing I could have probably made this better is if they added announcements, in gate uh, train announcements and also station announcements. Even if it's just for like stations in and around London, like I don't know, Wimbledon to London Waterloo. Just those stations have uh, announcements and they obviously in the in train announcements, that would have been really really cool if I could have added that, but fortunately we don't have that, which is a bit of a shame. And that's the only thing that's really missing from this. Last 455, which I almost missed there. Probably doing a stopping service towards Guildford or walking, that's my guess. Next station is Sir Burton. Right hand side, you will see the tracks joining up to platform one, which is where obviously the Hampton Court branch train uh, goes to. It's actually where we came from in the last video, so that should be quite familiar with us. I think I don't think it's stopping yet. No, it could stop here. It is actually kind of stopping. No, it's not. It's continuing. That's actually a bit weird. No, it's actually stopping. 
Well, that's good to know. Let's go and check it out. Let's see what train's going to today. This train's going to Woking as well. I guess all trains are going to Woking today, it seems. Apart from that one, I was going to uh, Port of Harbour. So here's the branch line that goes. Actually, is it here? Should be. That's where we came from here. Yeah. That's a terminating thing. Um. Nah, I don't know where we came from then. Where the branch line should be here somewhere. Oh, it's all the way here, that's why. It's quite a bit back from here. I thought it was quite near here. Server sensation, but it's not. Oh, you're going to wire clapping junction, okay then. So I was thinking that we're going to be stopping at Clapham Junction and, uh, what do you call it, um, Vauxhall, but we're actually not, so it's a good thing that I just realised now because I would have stopped at Clapham Junction and lost a lot of time, and Vauxhall as well, so we are going via Clapham Junction and going via Vauxhall and then calling at uh, Platform 15 at London Waterloo. So it's pretty much a non-stop to uh, go to do now. I kind of thought all Southwest trains and all Southwest Railway, which are, they're now known as, are uh, stopped at Clapham Junction because it's such a busy station. So maybe we're just going by at um, Clapham Junction for this, this scenario, I'm guessing. We do have a 30, now, 30 mile hour speed limit just before we get to Wimbledon, so that will slow down, down us a bit, but then after that we should be able to speed up again to around 16 70 miles an hour. I think there's another yellow in front of me as well, so... Okay, we should be okay, I think. I do need to slow down though, so... Let's do that. Green signal now, so we're good to go. Just need to slow down. I think this is Rain and Spark, I believe. Let's change the tracks. I guess we are. My guess is Rain and Spark, but I might be wrong. This is New Maldon actually, my bad.
just over five miles away from Platinum Junction. I think we should be approaching um, Wimbledon very soon. Now we're approaching Wimbledon. I can notice the massive uh, building around it. Unfortunately, there's no uh, district line stop trains here, so don't expect to see any. Uh, Wimbledon at speed. That's actually the service we took uh, in the last video. The service. A 444? No, sorry, 444. I mean a 450. I should know it's a 450 since it's in a blue livery. And obviously 444 is in a white livery and 455 is in a red livery, so it makes it quite easy to notice it. Okay, we have a speed limit change just before the junction. Not too surprising, I don't think we can go 70 miles now by a junction anyway. I do believe the tracks do bend around the junction. A lot of platforms like go left, right, left, etc. So essentially, they're not in a straight line, so we can't go at speed. And I guess for safety reasons, uh, trains going by platform junction can't go too fast because it is quite a busy station, as you can, as you guys know. Ah, uh, that is a yellow bus. We're gonna be late actually because we need to go via at 606. Uh, it's already um, almost 606 right here. We still have to arrive at Clapham Junction. So hopefully, it we don't lose any points there. I think as long as we go via at 606 anyway, so anytime between 606 and 606 59, we should be fine. That's actually the train I take home, so nice to see that train. But yeah, 
Yeah, the track does bend as you can see, so. Can't go too fast. We didn't lose any points, so it must have been okay. That's my guess. It's gonna be a race here, class 377. I think the speed limit for the 377 is like 45, and our one's only 40, but now it's up to 60, so let's get move on now. By a Vauxhall as well, so only three and a half miles away from London Waterloo. And that train goes to London, Victoria. We are going to uh, London, Waterloo. This is uh, Queenstown Road. Next one should be Vauxhall, and then obviously the terminus. quite foggy today. I believe this scenario is set in the fog so that's probably why. Probably one of the reasons why we're lagging a bit more than usual. Sharp, sharp curve just before walks actually. Okay, let's slow down. And Waterloo is just over a mile away so not too long to go. We are still at a thousand points and looks like we are gonna be getting a perfect score which is nice to see. Actually, we have to arrive at Waterloo at 8.50 so we're only 8.10 now so is it gonna allow us on the platform or not? So I'm not too sure. We'll soon find out. Well, that 450 definitely has red signal, so. Hopefully, that yellow one is for us and not the red one, so. Fingers crossed. It is quite a small speed limit coming into uh, London Waterloo, but there are quite a lot of tracks, so not too surprising. And look at this, a 455, a 444, four, four, and a 450, all in the same screenshot. Like, when do you ever see that, guys? Only at London Waterloo.
actually wanted to take a nice screenshot there, but I don't think I did. Probably have to take one. Uh, I wanted to get a 455, 450, and a 444 all in the same screenshot, but I think I failed to do so, so that's a bit disappointing. We are allowed to arrive on the platform three minutes early, it seems, so that's good. Then again, you'll probably take like a minute just to get into Waterloo, so... Just in time. <laughs> I kind of thought we were gonna crash into the thing, but all good. That's a nice screenshot. Could be better, but anyways. We can actually explore a little bit along the water loose, so let's go right to the front. So obviously here's the massive, uh, what do you call it, place. Got the old Eurostar platforms here, which are going to be uh, reused very soon. But these are where the Eurostar trains used to run, but obviously now they run from St. Pancras International. Water loose station. Got a bunch of ticket barriers, as you could expect, because a lot of people want to get the train for free. <laughs> And the ceremony is complete, thank you very much. Got another achievement, mixed signals, getting mixed signals, very nice. And there guys, that's the end of the scenario, hopefully you guys enjoy that one. The next one will be on, with the class 444, which is this 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. London Waterloo to Port of Harbour part 1. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.